Hello everybody and welcome to a new series that I'll be starting on my channel. As you can see it's called Skill McGill Squad Builders on FIFA 14. Uh, and I finally got it which is good. Um, I'll just quickly run through what this series will actually be. So with the new series I'll be starting I will be building a team on FIFA 14 Ultimate Team on every single league. So today we're, I'll be doing a Serie A squad builder, that's what I'm going to get started with. But yes, I will be doing a team, at least one team, I may, I may do two or three on one league, but um, I'll be doing a league on every, sorry not a league, a team on every in every single league in FIFA. So even the, even the, I don't know what's a small league, the Saudi Pro League, I'll even be doing one on that, I think it's called the Saudi Pro Pro League. It's called something like that, I know it is. But anyway, let's get into the video. And we are doing a Serie A squad, and to get things started, we have Marchetti. He's a fantastic keeper, going for 2,100 coins. He's a fantastic keeper, as you can see, he's got 89 reflexes and 87 diving. By far the best keeper I've used so far on FIFA. I mean, he's... I've Other keepers I've used, I've used people like Joe Hart, he's just... I don't, I don't, I don't like Joe Hart very much. But anyway, moving on to the defence. First of all, we have the beast from FIFA 13, Ogbonna. As you can see, he's got 77 pace, 79 heading, and 82 defending. And I got him for 1,900 coins. He's a very solid centre back, especially to have on that side. And then in the middle, we have Bugs Bugsagli. Um, the you, the Juventus 84 rated centre back as you can see he's got 86 defending and 80 heading absolute beast at the back and he goes he, he sits in the middle of the back three really, really well with um, Ogbonna and the player I'm about to show you because basically they both have pace as you can see here 81 pace and he, he him and Ogbonna go so well together obviously he's got 81 pace Ogbonna's got 77 pace they work fantastically with each other and obviously he's also got 81 defending and 78 heading. Moving on to the CDMs now, we have De Jong to kick things off with the CDMs. As you can see I put the engine trait on him to improve his pace, dribbling and passing. Um, he was he was a great player in real life when he was at City Then obviously he went to Milan and he's just as good on this game. He's a really, really solid CDM. Uh, I was thinking about getting Vidal, but I went for someone cheaper. You know, he's the cheaper alternatives to someone like someone I'd say like Pogba, so someone like that. And I should probably set this to Syria, make things make things go a lot faster. Anyway, the next CDM we have is Cambiasso. As you can see, I put I put the Gladiator trait on him. He's got 71 shots, 77 pass, 78 defending, and 75 heading. And he's got a four-star weak foot, and I picked him up for as little as 750 coins. So you can really get this guy for cheap, and he's he works really well with that gladiator trait on him. Now, at right mid, we have this guy. He's very, very good. He's got 84 pace, 84 dribbling, four-star weak foot, four-star skill moves, 81 pass, 77 shot. He's very good. I, I did mean to put the sniper trait on him. I forgot about that, but... I'll do that later, but he has been very good for me, as you can see. I actually got him in the pack, and he's played three games for me and scored one goal. Moving on to the left mid now, guys. We have the Belgian beast from Napoli. As you can see, I did remember to put the sniper trait on him. He has got 83 pace, 83 dribbling, 76 shots, and 75 passing. He's got... 4 star weak foot and 4 star skills and I bought him for 3000 coins definitely 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 worth them now we're moving on to the front 3 and to get things started the cam is a barbo and oh my god what a beast this guy is he's got 93 pace 95 dribbling and he works so well with that dead eye trait that um, improves his shooting and passing the only downside to a Barbo is that he's got um, three star skill moves, which is a, which is a, is a shame for him, but could could be worse. But he's yet to score for me, but that's because he's been playing in that camp position and he's been setting up the two strikers, which I'm about to show you. 
First of all, we have Muriel, and I put this sniper trait on him. He is an absolute beast in this. He's got four star weak foot, four star skill moves, 89 pace, 86 dribbles, 78 shot, and he's an absolute beast. He is. I'm. I haven't. I haven't that scored with him. Oh, I, I swear I've scored with Muriel. Oh no, I actually. Oh, I remember. Um. I, I I pretty much did score with him, but then the defender sort of tapped it in on the line. And so obviously went down as an own goal, not Muriel's goal. But that is because um, the guy that I'm about to show you has stolen all the goals, and that is Di Natale. And as you can see, I got him in the pack as well, his first owner. He's played three games for me and scored four goals, and he is an absolute beast. I put the sniper trait on him. He's got four star weak foot, four star skill moves, 86 pace, 87 dribble, 86 shot, 80 pass. And wow, he is an absolute beast. The only downside to him is he is five foot seven, and his strength isn't the best, which is a shame, because obviously on FIFA 14, strength is quite a big factor. But yeah, I definitely suggest getting this team, guys. It's fairly cheap. I'd say it's around 30, 35k, something like that. Um, yeah, so it's a, it's a really good team, guys, and that's a, I think that was a great way to start off the new series of Skill McGill's Squad Builders. So I suggest you build this team, guys, and the next one will be up soon. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you all later.